Hey, Hosers, Chase Griffin here, and I am doing a little bit of a um, sort of a, uh, a season eight ranked video. Um, just my thoughts on it. So my thoughts on what chips are going to be uh, better than others. Um, why some of those chips are going to be good. I'm not. Uh, I play a wide variety of chips, but I'm not um, as knowledgeable as I would like to be uh, about a lot of them. Uh, but I do try to uh, make a habit of at least having some information on the ships that I'm fighting. Now, currently, uh, I am being I, I am very successful in the Kigero. Uh, my kill to death is like um, 16 to 1. Uh, I have a 75% win rate. I've only played a few games in it. Um, out of all of the uh, ranked games I have played, but um, you know my uh, oh, make sure I I'm, I'm set on this season. Um, but you know if I'm just looking at like my WTR, it's uh, 2,500. I have an average 68,000 damage, uh, 2,200 XP, 16 kill to death, uh, two ships destroyed per battle, 88% uh, survival rate. Um, these are just m like my stats, um, and I've, I've only played eight games in it. Um, and I'm just snake bitten in some ships. Like, uh, I've played 11 games in my Otago, 45% win rate. My damage is 2,300 uh, above the average, uh, um, you know, 100 more average XP, even though I'm not winning games. Um, kill to death is. Uh, 1.4, the uh, global average is 1.1 right now. 55% um, survival, 37, uh, where the average is 39. 37% uh, main battery hits, where the average is 33. 10% torpedo hits, um, where the average is like four. Um, and I just cannot buy a win in in, in my Amagi. I've only played three games and I've dealt an average of 80,000 damage and like all of my stats are pretty much uh, well above average except for my win rate. Um, and, and it is kind of frustrating if you're having a lot of really good games and, and your team just, entire team just YOLOs. Uh, but I'm 100% in New Orleans and Mogami. But that's me um, and this is, uh, that's just uh, you know how I'm doing head of the way. Uh, I have definitely been able to make the Kagero work. Um, so I'll go over a bit of, of, of why I can make it work. And uh, I released a video yesterday, uh, Worships Wednesday, which uh, outlines uh, the exact reason why I'm making the Kagero work is because I'm a very sneaky Kagero player. I can get around, um, you know, I'm taking a very Miyamoto Misashi way of uh, 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 philosophy of combat, you know, strike from unexpected angles, never uh, fight your enemy on, uh, like, always dictate the battle, never fight the enemy where um, where they want you to. Uh, as Jingles would say, fair fights are for suckers. Uh, so I will, al I will often, um, you know, not launch torpedoes unless uh, I either need to or I want to make sure that I'm... Uh, uh, able to um uh or, or i want to make sure i'm able to um to say uh like i'll, I'll either launch if i hit if i need to to, to uh you, you know make someone turn away so i can get out of detection range or um you know put an enemy where i want them maybe to set them up for uh maybe to get them moving so a carrier can strike them or uh maybe to um, get them to turn uh, into a broadside to a battleship, uh, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I'll have a, another video um, for a game I also played yesterday up uh, next Wednesday, uh, which will show uh, in even better detail, um, you know, uh, why I'm making the Kagero work. Uh, but suffice it to say, um, I'm not launching, uh, if you're using the Kagero, you know, you are not, you are the biggest team player in a Kagero, but you do not go with the team. <laughs> um, 
you need to stay unspotted, um, you know, stay at unexpected angles, be very aware. Awareness is the biggest thing when you're driving a Kagero. Um, you need to be absolutely aware of where the enemy is. Um, you know, uh, you need to be on the lookout for any chapeas, um, which if you can if you can see them, they can radar you. Uh, you need to be aware of any uh, any destroyers. So you need to really pay attention to your mini map, where those destroyers are. Um, you know, if there are any unspotted, you definitely need to be on your guard. The only thing that the only destroyer that is really a major uh, issue for you is a, a Harikaze um, using the uh, uh, the Yakizuki guns. But even then, um, uh, even then, uh, she's basically an a-hole Kagero. <laughs> um, so you have every, every advantage other than the guns is yours because uh, she's identical to an a-hole Kagero with uh, Akizuki turrets. Um, so you, you, what I would do with the Kagero is spot. I mean, uh, the, the battle that I'm going to show you next week, I got 105,000 spotting damage on top of 138,000. Um, uh, on top of 138,000 uh, uh, actual damage that I did. And my team was not necessarily uh, the most cooperative bunch, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, you, you're, you're definitely the biggest team player. You, you, you absolutely need to, to rely on your team for support with the Kagero. But you also need to understand that it's your job to get into unexpected places, spot, um, uh, corral them with your torpedoes, or uh, capitalize on mistakes made by the enemy and sink them. Or if you can actually get torpedoes on them, um, and you can sink them. You know, if a battleship is, if a battleship like a North Carolina, and I do this to North Carolinas actually a lot, if he's you know traveling this way. Uh, or even worse, in reverse, if he's, I'll get to that in a second, but, uh, he's traveling this way and, you know, firing his guns at something over here or over here, um, or, or even over, you know, not this way. If you fire torpedoes at him from this side, uh, his reaction time is going to be lowered because he's not looking at torpedoes. He'll get the warning, and if he's, if he's very aware, uh, he will see the torpedoes coming, um, but I oftentimes find I often find um, that even players who have proven to be dangerous players um, will uh, be very susceptible to you know uh, tunnel visioning uh, on everything over here. Oh. So you want to you want to sort of get into that uh, really unexpected behind the lines. Um, way of doing things and then any enemies who are firing from behind cover you'll be spotting them for, for your friendlies to shoot at uh, you really need to make this five point uh, oh um, oh yeah and, and if they're like trying to bow tank going in reverse uh, then you have them. <laughs> uh, this is for any battleship Alabama North Carolina uh, uh, you'll see it sometimes with Bismarck people in Bismarck it's not so much with the Amagi because um, uh, I guess not so much with the Amagi or the Bismarck or Turpix, you really shouldn't be bow tanking in those ships. Um, you should be playing more mobile. Um, but definitely in... Uh, and you shouldn't be playing a Monarch at all. <laughs> um, there are very few things I agree with. Uh, but uh, not... There are very few things I would, I, I would say are... Uh, absolutes, uh, but I would say absolutely don't play a mono unless, unless you're like I am in the Kagero and you can just absolutely, perfectly make it work. Don't don't. Um, she's, uh, just n not a good ship. Um, that doesn't mean don't stop playing her if, if you're making her work right. Um, uh, the battleships are different play cells, but they're all very uh, very good, similar, and all that. Um, so, yeah, the most important thing about the Kagero is this, um, 5.4 kilometer detection radius. Another complaint about the Kagero is that her guns aren't very good. Her guns are actually extremely good. Um, the only problem is, uh, uh this short main battery firing range is actually a, uh, 
is, is actually very helpful um, because the, the, the bloom where people are spotting you is, is shorter. But the only real problem is her seven second reload time. Uh, you can get that, that down with basic firing training if you want. Um, uh, her, her, her only real flaw is this uh, seven, seven second um, rate of fire. But you have, if, if uh, the, there's only two destroyers that I will not willingly engage, um, you know, if we're on equivalent amounts of health. Uh, and that is an Akizuki, because she will just absolutely fucking pwn the shit out of me. Her guns fire way too fast for that shit. Um, and she has way too much health. And a Kiev, um, or I guess an Ognavoy. Um, I keep forgetting the Russians had, had a split. Um, but uh, really, if you're fighting like a, if you're fighting like a Benson or uh, a, a, what is it, Z-52, um, or a Benson, also called the Lo Yang, or a, a Sien Yang, which I think is another Benson, um, or even a Kid. Uh, the problem with those ships, and, and the reason I'm able to, you know, the, the reason I feel confident uh, in overcoming them, which is from having to gunfight with them, by the way, is that the, the, the velocity on their shells is so low that if you kite away from them, um, it's very easy to see where their shells are going to, are, are going to come in and land. Um, and it's also very easy, to, uh, and also if they're trying to chase you down, um, you know, you ha can, um, easily bring your four, uh, aft turrets to bear, and they are going to have to either only use their two forward turrets or, um, uh, or continuously turn in and out um, to be able to uh, uh, continually, you know, keep their fire on you. So um, you actually have a, a number of guns advantage, especially with that middle turret. Uh, I'm not sure about the kid, but on the Benson, that middle turret is, um, uh, well, I actually don't have a Benson. Um, so I don't know, but if it's anything like the, uh, um, whatever the tier six is, I can't think of it off of the uh, top of my head. Um, the, it'll bother me if I don't, if I don't find it. Uh, no, it's probably back over here. Oh, it's one that people don't like. Uh, Clemson, not Clemson. I have the. Oh yeah, it's a. It should be Farragut. Like, um, just to show you, this middle turret on the Farragut is does not have a very good angle of fire. The aft turrets have a much. I think even have a better um, uh, forward arc uh, than this middle turret here. Uh, so if, you know, he's chasing you down, he's going to be able to maybe bring uh, these two guns to bear regularly, and he'll have to constantly maneuver uh, to bring these two guns to bear. Um, and if he is doing that, and, and this gun he may not even be able to bring to bear, uh, if he even has it as, as all, because I think the, um, I think the, uh, um, uh, the hole with the, uh, Improved AA, uh, if it's anything like the fair gut, will have, um, well, I, I can just go into the tech tree and look at the fair gut, or not the fair gut, the um, Benson. Uh, yeah, so this one has only four turrets, and it's probably the one with it. So if he has the five turrets, um, you know, this one might have a better uh, firing arc, but the aft ones might not. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on that. But unless he is like giving you a bunch of his side and, and actively trying to uh, bring these turrets to bear on either side, he's really only going to have, uh, are they, yeah, they're actually turrets and not mountings. Uh, he's actually only going to be able to use these two forward turrets. 
um, which only have two guns, where, um, you know, you have four guns, uh, uh, you have four aft guns, so yeah, you can um, basically keep them on them, uh, uh, and, and that really, really uh, does even out. Um, and also, if you look at the um, muzzle velocity, the these these things are have a really high muzzle velocity, 915 for the AP um, uh, and the HE. Uh, they're actually five inch, not um, not 4.7 inch, um, 120 millimeter guns. Uh, and and if you look at their uh, dispersion numbers, uh, they are really really good. Um, just out of curiosity, we're going to go back to the Fletcher, or not the Fletcher, the Benson, and. Um, yeah, 792 uh, shell velocity on the guns. I don't think that changes with your hulls, no. So uh, this is why I can, you know, you can keep uh, maneuvering uh, and weaving in and out of the gunfire real easy. Um, well, not real easy, but enough that you can get the upper hand on them, even though they have more hit points and their guns have a higher rate of fire. Um, you know, um, you do have advantages if you play it right. You know, a lot of people just look at the stats and say, um, you know, oh, the Benson has better guns, um, so, or, or at least has a higher rate of fire on her guns, uh, so that's the only thing that matters. Well, it's not. Um, you know, it's, it's how you use the ship. Um, and and the fact that the these things have an absolutely insane shell velocity definitely helps. Um, even if the the reload time, you're going to basically land more hits. Um, and if we look at the maneuverability, while she's not the fastest, I have a speed flag on her. It's actually 35 and a half. Uh, while she's not the fastest ship in the world, um, she does have a good, very good rudder shift uh, and a uh, okay turning circle. Um, but she is a, a, a rather agile destroyer, uh, so you can get into you, you can get out of a lot more trouble than you think you can, and that is even if the Benson um, that is even if the Benson sees you coming. Uh, again, I think uh, Benson is what six point one or six point three. Um, you have five point four, so you have like almost a kilometer uh, before you can see him. Um, and if you're doing what I like to do, and um, uh, not being where you're, where the enemy expects you to be, uh, that that can cause a lot more trouble. Um, you know, they may turn looking for you. Uh, they they may turn away from you if they expect you to be over here and you're over here. Really, the only thing I don't like running into with a Kagero is uh, a Herkaze or another Kagero because they can spot me and and. Uh, all of his buddies can shoot me. Uh, I'm usually able to kill those ships uh, because I am, you know, I, I'm usually pretty, uh, uh, I, 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 I'm usually pretty um, uh, chill, but when I know I'm good at something, I know I'm good at it, and I'm, I'm, I'm demonstrably good at being, in, uh, at driving a Kigero. Um, uh, other ships, uh, the New Orleans, uh, you know, these American cruisers, they're not for everybody. Um, if you can make the New Orleans work, you can make it work. It has a very good radar. The radar doesn't have as much range as, as the uh, Chappie. On the other hand, the uh, range the radar on the New Orleans lasts for an extra 10 seconds. <laughs> also, the uh, uh, the auto bounce angles on the guns are, are much better, and you can bow tank with it. And she has a reasonably good uh, anti-aircraft defense. Um, with these Orlikans and these Bofors. 105, 114, 36. Um, uh, so you can use her as an anti-aircraft cruiser as well. Um, she is a little glossy. Um, you know, she's not... Uh, she's more of an escort ship than a, uh, than a cruiser. Um, I'm 100% with her, though. <laughs> 
So um, you can do some things, right? And um, while she uh, might be, she, well, she might not be able to take it, she can definitely dish it because these, uh, these nine, eight inch guns uh, are absolutely devastating, especially to other cruisers. Um, in fact, the, the New Orleans is best used as a, uh, as a cruiser hunter, um, as well as a destroyer spotter. And, and, you know, these guns are serviceable against destroyers. Um, but uh, the amazing AP on them uh, is uh, definitely best used against enemy cruisers. Um, I am a Japanese cruiser main. Uh, I've played one game in, in the Wagami. It was a decent game. Um, it's not my first pick for a Japanese cruiser. Um, just because the Otago is slightly better in many ways. Um, you know, the the Mogami will set a lot of fires. She's reasonably fast uh, for a cruiser anyways. Um, she's got a meh AA. Um, but that's okay. I have not seen that I found a lot of carriers. And the ones I have come across are stupid, but I was, I'm still in like rank 13, so um, that might change as I get higher. Um, I've only been playing for like two, uh, ranked for like two days. Um, and, and I already have like 200 plus K damage games in Kigero. <laughs> uh, in, in only eight games. Um, so uh, with the Mogami, she's kind of a big ship. Um, she's got a lot of firepower. Uh, you can use the 6-inch guns, you can use the 8-inch guns. Uh, the 6.1-inch guns are generally all around better, unless you're finding that you're fighting a lot of cruisers, in which case the 8-inch guns uh, are just better. Um, if you want to disagree with that, fine, but it's the difference between setting a, it's the difference between setting an Edinburgh on fire and just citadeling it to death. <laughs> um, I don't have an Edinburgh, I'm only at the Fiji, but, um, you know, if you're good with them, you're good with them. If you're not good with them, you're not good with them. I'm okay with them. Um, of course, my camera is covering all this, probably. Uh, let's see here. Um, with the Otago, Otago is always a strong ship. Um, the Otago has two key advantages over every other cruiser. The first advantage, well, not every other cruiser. She has the second highest, or she has the second lowest uh, detectability range at um, 9.1. Uh, I, I think even the Mogami is like 9, 9.3. Um, and while the Mogami has, well, you see the Mogami and, and, and the uh, Otago or the Takao, uh, both have the same torpedo armament. They both have 16 of these. Um, oh, they both have 16 of these. Uh, make me go to the Type 90 Mod 1. I, I think I'm pretty sure the Otago has Type 90. Yeah, they both have these Type 90 Mod 1s. Um, I didn't want the Harikaze. The Type 9, the torpedoes on the Mogami have that, you know, typical rear firing arc that a lot of Japanese cruisers tend to have, but they both, both torpedo launchers have virtually the same firing arc. With the uh, Otago and Arp Takao, that is a little bit different. These two, these two, um, forward torpedo tubes have forward arcs and these two aft ones have aft arcs. What makes this an advantage is that you can fire torpedoes very forward to the ship. You don't have to, you know, turn and, and, and show your ass to, to fire torpedoes. Um, the disadvantage is that you have a very limited uh, uh, firing arc overlap. So if you want to concentrate torpedoes at something, um, it can be rather difficult, uh, but the Takao is faster by like a knot. Um, she is armed with 10 8-inch guns, uh, so they basically have the same firepower if you equip the 
eight inch guns on the Mogami. Not as good against destroyers. Um, just as good against battleships. And uh, you'll do more hard. You'll do more actual damage, but you won't deal more. Um, but you won't set as many fires. Uh, even though the Neotago is very good at setting fires. And um, you will also have uh, uh, not have as good a time um, fighting against destroyers. Even though you can really, really hurt a destroyer. Um, and these secondary guns can be trollish. I used to pick up kills with them all the time. Um, when the only real build I ever used was AFT and BFT. Um, basically before they reworked the skill tree. Uh, just because it gave me a little extra anti-aircraft firepower. Uh, let's see here. So um, with these 16 torpedoes with very wide coverage, uh, the and to the same extent um, the Mogami. Um, of course, the uh, Otago has a healing uh, ability, uh, which is one of the other reasons why I recommend it. Um, she is, uh, well, her armor is serviceable against cruisers and terrible against battleships, but it's a battleship. <laughs> um, but she has the healing. Uh, this is how I usually set it up there. I, I have my 19 point captain on her. Um, uh, all, all in all, if, if you like, if you're a cruiser player, um, you know it's basically this: the Chaffee or the um, Kachuzov. Um, I would definitely, I, I'm definitely in the Otago camp just because of the sheer amount of raw firepower. Uh, you can stealth torp. Uh, you can, you know, you, you have great guns. Don't ever underestimate Otago's guns because they are very good, even though they reload a little slow. Um, uh, I'm not entirely familiar with the Russian or German cruisers. Uh, the German cruiser seems to be really unpopular for ranked. Um, the uh, Pipper and the Eugen. Uh, so I don't know about them. Uh, I'll, I'll never tell you not not to use a ship, except maybe the Monarch. Um, but uh, you know, if, if you can make them work, go for it. But uh, I, I've actually run into a few. Uh, German cruisers and either have been able to just evade them or, um, or, or, or sink them, depending on what I'm in. Um, I, I was watching, I, I watched Flynn's video just recently. We'll listen to it anyways. Um, and was it Flynn? No, it was uh, Zara. Uh, and he said, for all the battleships, just pick one you like. Whatever, whatever you're having success in, and go for it. Except for the monarch, go for the monarch if you can use it. I mean, um, he, Zara also says that the Kagero is like, don't use it. It's terrible, and uh, you know I have a 16 to one kill to death ratio and a 75 percent win chance in it. <laughs> so um, yeah, there, whatever makes you work. Um, uh, the same with the Harikaze. I'm not going to actually use the Harikaze, probably. Um, just because... I'm, I'm sorry, but she's just so... What? Oh, okay, I see what's going on with that. She's just so... weak. She's only got 13,300 hit points. She's only got Type 90 Mod 1 torpedoes. The Kagero B-Hull, uh, 15,100 hit, hit points, type 93 mod 2. So uh, we're, we're running long lance torpedoes. The detection radius on the, or the detection thing on the, these torpedoes should be like, there's torpedoes in the water? Where did they come from? I just got torpedoed. Um, but uh, I guess that is a little unfair. <laughs> Uh, but she's running the long lance torpedoes. She's um, got an extra almost 2,000 more hit points. Um, and she's identical in every other way. Uh, I am, of course, using concealment mod, uh, steering gears mod. I know some people like to say to use uh, 
uh, propulsion mod. Um, but I like it only matters if you're like starting from zero to max speed. Um, and I play very mobile. I, I don't. I never sit in smoke and fire. If I drop smoke, uh, I I almost never sit in it. I always uh, drop smoke and either drive around behind it. I shouldn't be sharing my secrets. Uh, I either drop smoke and 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 run around behind it, um, or just stop shooting and run away. Uh, but I very rarely sit in smoke, um, or or I'll smoke an ally. Uh, I very rarely use my smoke. Actually, I should probably be using the torpedo reload booster. Um, it's just that, especially in ranked, uh, where survivability it outranks utility, um, or outranks your ability to kill shit, um, and especially because I play a very, um, you know, detach from the main fleet and uh, uh, basically try to uh, spot and, and and get the odd torpedo in and and you know. I play the thing like a ninja. <laughs> Don't be seen. Strike from unexpected angles. Um, so, uh, enough of that. Um, uh, the Akizuki is a very powerful ship. Some people don't know how to use her. Uh, she's slow. Uh, she doesn't have the best turning circle. Uh, she has torpedo reload booster uh, and smoke. So that's good. She's not, you don't use her as a destroyer, you use her as a, uh, as a uh, light cruiser. Um, she's, a, she's an escort ship. She was designed as an escort ship by the Japanese Navy. And she's best used as, a, as an escort ship in this game. Um, case in point, how I have my captain set up. Yes, I know, I don't have IFHE, I'm, I'm terrible. I'm saving up the points for it, okay? Um, so I'm setting her up for uh, pure anti-aircraft. IFHE is going to be my next, uh, it is going to be the next one. Um, but I'm setting her up for anti-aircraft. Um, AFT and BFT are important because I like to uh, basically stay at long ranges and harass. And um, you can actually do a fair amount of damage with your AP. Uh, I've got, I'm on um, Replay Woes on my, uh, on my profile, that you know, it'll be in the description. Um, there's one where in less than five minutes, mostly using um, AP, I did something like uh, 130,000 damage, and that's it within like the first. Uh, I I think of it some, you know, somewhere around the five minute and thirty second mark where I got sunk. I did that in like two minutes. <laughs> I I think I hit with like two torpedoes, and the rest was from AP. Uh, it's just it's like taking a cheese grater to the hull of an Iowa. It's it's kind of hilarious. Um, uh, the thing is, is that you know there's always the damage saturation uh, mechanic that you want to pay attention to. Uh, you can penetrate the superstructure of a, of an Iowa um, or or any any battleship with your AP. Um, you're not going to start any fires or anything. Um, of course. I can't have I can't have it all, unfortunately. Um, but uh, you know, I I have found a way for it um, that works for me, and I know probably a lot of people will argue that um, IFHE is and and demo expert is the way to go, uh, especially since that will give me a, a net plus one fire chance. Um, but I'm finding that uh, you know what I uh, I don't necessarily need it as much. Um, maybe for fighting other destroyers, but I don't stray far from my fleet. I use her sort of in the same way I'd use a New Orleans, uh, just without the radar, uh, is I will stay, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll pick a battleship and, st and, and stick with them. If a, uh, if a destroyer comes to harass the battleship, I can chase off the destroyer. Um, if people are search firing at the battleship and I open fire, and you know, I'm at like 10, 12 kilometers, um, I have a better chance of evading those shots than the battleship, or I can just smoke up um, if I'm in a lot of trouble. There's a lot of different things I can do. And of course I can provide, you know, unless it's an American battleship, I can provide insane anti-aircraft. I don't have, um, you know, she doesn't have uh, 
um, defensive AA, um, which I don't know. Maybe Wargaming can make defensive AA uh, a option for the, like a, a secondary option for the t torpedo reload booster. Um, and, and unless I'm, I, uh, so for some reason in ranked I always seem to do better in destroyers. Um, but unless I'm finding a lot, I'm fighting a lot of aircraft carriers. I'm probably not going to use the Akitsuki. Uh, just because I really do prefer the torpedo. Um, the ninja torpedo style. Um, but in the end, uh, she's definitely one of the um, better choices, but uh, you just have to play her very differently from any other destroyer. Um, North Carolina, mid range bow tank, um, you have good torpedo protection. Um, actually, not really. Uh, I've always been under the impression that uh, these things have great torpedo protection. No, they don't. Um, 21%, I'm fully upgraded. So that's actually uh, under 20%, unless you equip that. Um, yeah, no, uh, bad torpedo protection. Again, I thought it was much better. I don't have an Alabama. Um, but, or, uh, is the other South Dakota out? Is it the South Dakota? I can't remember. Um, I, I'm not a huge American Battleship fan, especially getting to the North Carolina. I do like her though. Um, well, I'm a huge American Battleship fan, just not necessarily in this game. Uh, Turpets and Bismarck are always very strong choices. Um, they are definitely survivors. Um, I am not a fan of the German battleships myself. Uh, I got this during the Sink the Bismarck campaign or whatever it was. I got this in a, in a I, I, I didn't pay for this. I got this last Christmas in a, one of the Christmas boxes. Um, I've only got to the tier five uh, otherwise. Um, it should be in my... Uh, I've only got to the Koenig. Uh, I am not enjoying the German battleships, uh, and that's why I don't actually have any modules on the Bismarck. Um, and I also have like a, a fully decked out turbots, and I'm short on credits anyways. Uh, but I cannot... And all my commanders, I reset them... Um, when they change the smoke mechanics, and I just haven't played any of the ships where they're um, done. I'm actually going to be changing my North Carolina captain um, uh, because I have a uh, because I have a, a an anti aircraft captain set up for the ship now. Um, I just haven't played the ship um, in some time, um, but it is a primary ship because uh, I do want to go up to the Montana. Um, Let's see what other ships I have. So yeah, the Turpets, um, Turpets and Bismarck are mostly uh, identical. Um, uh, the Turpets has torpedoes, the Bismarck has Hydro. Um, uh, the Bismarck is slightly faster, yada, yada, yada. Um, uh, you know, they're, the, the big part about these ships is that they're immune to being citadeled. Um, and they're okay in every other way. They don't have a lot of firepower though, um, uh, I unless you're a cruiser. Uh, you know, unless you're a cruiser, you're going to be able to, able to overpower them. And even, um, you know, even if you get a good shot in with, with some torpedoes on an Otago, you can absolutely wreck them. They don't have torpedo protection. Uh, I mean, they're better than North Carolina, but really, um, they're they're only like twenty two percent. A Kagero will wreck these. Trust me, I know. Um, the Amagi. Um, I would say that this would be my preferred choice for a battleship. She's fast. She's maneuverable. 
She carries uh, the most firepower of any battleship at this uh, le level. She's actually not a battleship, she's a battle cruiser. Uh, so her armor isn't terribly good. Um, I mean, a as long as you're angling properly, uh, her armor is sufficient, but not great. Um, but then again, you know, she goes 30, uh, well, she goes 30, 31 and a half knots with a speed flag. Um, and she's got a decent rudder shift. Uh, she's got a metric fuck ton of hit points, uh, 66,000 there, 53,000 there, uh, 69. 64. But that's the A hull. So the B hull has 69. 69.2. 69.3. That actually makes sense. The Turpets did have slightly better armor and a higher displacement and 66. So not as much hit points as the Turpets or the Bismarck. Um, but she's only slightly slower than the Turpets. Uh, very. And the key is pretty much an Amagi with torpedoes and, and better guns. Uh, 850 turning circle, 16 second rudder shift, um, and that's with a secondary. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Um, so what's that, 10? 20. Okay, so they'll have about uh, equivalent um, rudder shift. Uh, 16, so it'll probably be, yeah, around, around the same. <laughs> um, but the Amagi does have uh, really good torpedo protection, unless you're in like a, a, a unless you're in a Japanese ship, Torpedoes are not going to be terribly effective against you um, if they hit because you have uh, good speed. Um, 870, that was the other thing I wanted to look at. 870, okay, so the Turbots only has a 20 meter better turning circle. Um, so they're about the same mobility, just the Turbots has heavier armor. Um, and you could say the Turbots has torpedoes as well, but the key has torpedoes, so eh. Even if they are tier four Japanese destroyer torpedoes, um, but the the Turpets has you know two more guns uh, and and bigger guns in general, uh, or the Amagi has two more guns and bigger guns in general. Um, AA defense is uh, always a problem on on uh, Japanese battleships, but actually it looks. Yeah. The AA defense is actually uh, slightly better than the Bismarck, so um, AA is good. Of course, um, you know, you are a maneuverable ship. Never travel in a straight line. Always be dodgy. Um, it is a problem with Japanese ships that they, they do not have a good acceleration, though. That's something you want to be uh, careful about, especially in, in cruisers and, and destroyers. Um, they lose a lot of speed and accelerate. Uh, I am pretty much a Japanese ship main. Uh, what else do we have, though, that we can look at? But really, this is good. This is good. This can work. You know, I'm I'm very good in the Pe Pensacola. Uh, I, I, I do like the ship. Uh, I'm r reasonably good in the New Orleans. Um, you know, I have the Indianapolis. I, I like my cruisers, and I, and I like my American cruisers. Um, I don't like these ones very much, um, but I like these two a lot. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one. Actually, I'm looking forward to the split. Um, the only thing I really can't tell you about is carriers. In theory, the Enterprise is a very strong carrier because just because it has so many aircraft on it. Uh, but they are lower tier aircraft, but you can you know hold 
enemy fighters and stray. Um, and all of that. Um, let's see. Russia. I'm not familiar with Russian cruisers. I just know that uh, 11 and a half um, kilometer radar range. And it can only be spotted. Uh, you can get the spotting down to like just over 10. So that's a problem. Um, the Chaffee, uh, the Kiev is very dangerous to us. We destroy it. Well, it's a decent ship, anyways. Um, it is kind of a selfish, but uh, you know, if you if you're winning with it, be selfish. <laughs> if you're a selfish player, then then trying to not be a selfish. If you're a selfish player, then um, you know, trying to force your play to be uncomfortable is not as good as being a selfish player. Um, you know, you have to play where you're comfortable. Just don't be a just just don't be a dick to other players. Um, you know, the Ognavoy. Um, I've actually been told that this is not really a good choice, and the Kutuzov. Um, I don't know. I've never really. Uh, I have never really had a problem dealing with Kutuzovs, mostly because I play like shit that uh, can fire torpedoes into smoke screens, or I'll get them uh, while they're not in smoke with the battleship, uh, and, and they're glassy. Uh, let's see here, the uh, oh, it does only have two. Uh, this has, um, I won't tell you, but this has a defensive AA, and a, a reasonably good AA, uh, but other than that, um, it's my understanding that uh, it's it's not necessarily a good ship, and, and, and looking at how it only has four guns. Um, I'm again, not entirely a huge fan of the German ships, um, but we'll take a look at the Z-23. Uh, just because I'm curious, uh, you know, I, I could really use some of its stats. Uh, 14,000. Max damage, 66 knot uh, speed, 9.5 kilometer range. That's actually pretty good. They don't do a lot of damage, but um, but they're generally good. And they reload a lot faster. Uh, huge hit points. Utterly huge hit points. Um... Terrible detectability. Oh, that is a terrible rudder shift. Turning circle radius is about the same as a Japanese destroyer, but that rudder shift. Um, yeah, I'll take Kagero. Uh, looks like decent AA, maybe. It's a little short range. Um, yeah, what's her guns? 128 millimeter. Oh, wait. Let's see here. Uh, so still better reload than Kagero. Um, they turn slow. Uh, they have a decent shell velocity. But they're one on the front and three on the back, even though this one had, looks like it has a good arc. Um, and it only has four guns. Yeah, I can kind of see why. Truthfully, I would stick with the five inch. I would definitely stick with the five inch. I mean, these are bigger than, these are actually bigger than the guns on the, uh, uh, like on the Japanese light cruisers, but, um, yeah, I can't say that's very good. And wait, are those torpedo tubes only? No, they're quadruple. They look like triple. <coughs> I mean, I would pro I would probably play this very similar to how I play Kagero, 
Except it does not have the con it does not have the concealment, so I couldn't play it like a Kigero. Um, yeah, I can see why people are recommending not to play this. Uh, you're going to be a decent destroyer hunter, um, but if I saw you coming, um, like if you're coming at if I saw when I saw you coming at a Kigero. Um, and you're in this, if you're head on, uh, I'm just going to, um, like, low pony you. Because you are not that much faster than me. Um, and you and you have to con constantly turn. Um, and I am much more agile than you. The guns aren't terrible, though. Even Even though they have, like... That's not terribly bad. I keep talking about if I'm using Kikero is because I, that's probably what I'm going to be mostly using. If I'm entirely honest. Um, I have found that I like her. Uh, back to the tech tree. Oh, I don't want that. All right. The last one for this we're going to look at is the Hipper. And I actually haven't audited these ships myself for stats and, and, and whatnot. Um, so uh, this is kind of a learning curve for me. We won't see a lot of these, but we're going to look at them. Um, uh, I have no way of evaluating cruiser armor other than don't show your broadside to other cruisers and uh, don't show your ship to battleships uh, because unless they hit like a turret or something or, or get a really unlucky uh, ricochet you're you're probably screwed <laughs> um not very good hit points oh wait no that's the a out of c okay decent hit points <laughs> um Okay, guns. Um, 13 second reload. They're 8 inch, so 4, 8 8 inch guns with an okay reload. Um, yeah. I mean, they have the, the weird HE penetration and the, uh, and the AP is very good. And that's not a terrible fire chance. Oh, no, wait, that is a terrible fire chance. Uh, but she's only got eight. So use her at your own risk. Six kilometer torpedoes. Eh. Torpedoes are meh at best. Um. Ew. Ew, she is slow. 32 knots. And it's 742 in a circle radius. Uh, 15 seconds, well not 15 seconds. 10, okay, but 10 seconds, 10.7 second base. With the sea hull. Um. Sixteen, seventeen kilometer, seventeen but seven kilometer gun range. So that's an advantage. Um, I don't know. She does have that beautiful German hydro, but. You have to you have to get close enough to use it, right? And I don't know. I just don't. I I, I I'm just. Uh, I can't really make that big of a statement because I've never played her. Uh, I will eventually have all the ships, um, but I've never played her, so I 
I really don't know. But uh, just looking at this, um, I, I, I wouldn't play her in, in ranked. I, I play a lot of ships, but I'm very picky about the ships I play. Uh, UK, Edinburgh, um, I mean, let's start with the Monarch. Just 60,000 hit points. The hit points aren't bad. Um, the armor's meh. Uh, torpedo bolts deal better than North Carolina. Uh, 381 millimeter main battery. Uh, one thirty four. That can be upgraded. Not terrible rudder shift. Twenty eight knot speed. 18.1 kilometer range. Okay. Um, yeah, it's basically a uh, cross between a KG-5 and a North Carolina. I don't know. Uh, I, I, y you can make her work. Uh, like I said, you can make anything work if you play it right. Um, I just think that a North Carolina would be a better choice. Um, yeah, she has 32 millimeters, uh, 381, I mean, maybe I'm making her be worse than she is, uh, but basically she's, you might as well play, if you haven't played with North Carolina, <laughs> um, her, her main battery is not, well, it has a 25 second reload, um, Maybe I'm being a little harsh on her, but still, um, I think you're just better off sticking with the North Carolina. Her A defense is okay, and her concealment is actually pretty good. I think the North Carolina's is too, though. Um, that leaves, back to the tech tree. And yes, I do have a Nelson. Enboro, basically a upgraded Crown Royal, or Crown Colony. I would like some Crown Royal right now. Um, rapid fire six inch guns, uh, smoke torpedoes. You can use radar on it. I'm not sure what the range is. Uh, instead of smoke, so do that at your own risk. The thing, this thing has paper armor, uh, and it's very easy to sit at all. That's the problem. Torpedoes are not terrible. Well, you can stealth torp in it, and it does have the single launch torpedoes. But it only has three torpedoes aside. Two times three. Two times three. Fifteen thousand, so they don't do terrible damage. They're serviceable, but you only get three of them. That's the problem. I don't even know where they're. Oh, they're mounted right there. Well, you, you get three per side, so it's kind of an afterthought. A is meh. Maneuverability is slow speed. Well, I don't know if you can call it slow speed or not, um, but whatever. Meh turning circle. Uh, in amazing rudder shift. <laughs> Absolutely amazing rudder shift. This thing is nimble as hell. I mean, this is one that if you're good at Royal Navy cruisers and you want to use it, go ahead. 
Wrong one. Tech tree. Um, and this is 100% opinion. Uh, of course, you have the uh, Xian Yang and the Lo Yang. Um, the Lo Yang is actually the USS Benson. <laughs> it's slightly modified um, uh, to have hydro. Uh, but I believe it's pretty much the same other otherwise. Um, the Xian Yang can have uh, radar. I don't know if it have, can have smoke and radar or smoke or radar. It has these stupid deep water torpedoes. Um, just I'd like to know what you're smoking war gaming with that and can I have some? 9.2 kilometer range. Oh man, these things are not nearly as bad as I thought they would be. Um, yeah, you can you can't see the see you can't see them coming, but they are not as bad as getting hit by a a, 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 a long lance torpedo at least. Sixteen thousand damage. And um, they are not fast either. 55 knots. Only strikes some cruisers um, and all battleships and carriers. She's fast ish. Is this another Benson that the Americans sold? I think this is another Benson that the Americans sold China. Um, or whoever. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, speaking of Bensons, Again, this is the USS Benson. <laughs> After, in, in the 50s, the Americans sold her to China. <laughs> uh, let's see here. 16,000 damage torpedoes. Uh, 68 knots. 6.7 kilometer range. Or 55 knots, 9.2 kilometer range. Meh. Ah, uh, Benson guns. <laughs> she can have sonar or hydro or whatever you want to call it. And smoke. Uh, yeah, and you can get her for gold. So definitely something. Basically, she does everything a German destroyer does, but uh, better. <laughs> um, but that's, again, only my opinion. France. Uh, yeah, I'm stuck on this ship. I do not like it. I love this ship. This is like one of my favorite cruisers, period. Um, this is basically an upgraded version. But uh, I am actually not familiar with the Charles Martel, so I might as well look at the stats here with you. Uh, so what do we have? We have... 38,000 hit points, so it is glassy, glassy armor. Oh, actually, decent torpedo protection. Uh, only 2% less than the North Carolina, uh, which is kind of sad on the Carolina's part. 8-inch um, guns, 9 8-inch guns. So it's got that uh, American 3-triple. Uh, um, who cares about that? Um, these are stay at long range and uh, shoot at things very far away. Uh, she technically has torpedoes. <laughs> uh, they're like meh torpedoes at best. Not terribly great A. I expected her to be a lot faster. I mean, I know that she can get speed boost, but... 
32 knots, everything can chase her down. An Akizuki can chase her down. Hell, a Turpit or a, a Bismarck can almost chase her down. What is with, with these slow uh, French cruisers? I saw, thought they were supposed to be fast. Um, good rudder shift. Meh, concealment. Let's take a look at these guns. Uh, let's see here. So, actually, those aren't the guns we're going to be using, are they? 17.6 kilometer range is pretty good. Ten second reload for her eight inch guns is really good, and there's nine of them, so she only has three less than the Otago. Or she only has one less than the Otago. Um, it's basically the difference between a a, uh, a Moggy and a North Carolina, <laughs> uh, or maybe an Amagi and a uh, or yeah, but she's got that American. Loadout of three by three. Um, very good reload time, actually. A very good hydraulics. The, the turn rate for the guns is good. Uh, dispersion looks okay, but that's just the maximum dispersion in any direction. Decent shell velocity. And okay, damage. Uh, I mean, she's both good and bad. Uh, not as fast as I was expecting, and not as, uh, yeah, just not as fast as I was expecting. And I don't think there's anything here or here. There might be something here. Um, as for aircraft carriers, I don't know aircraft carriers. Um, at least I don't like. I don't even have the review show. Come on, but uh, uh, I'm just going to go with what the carrier players say and take Shokaku. Take Enterprise if you really want. But as a player, if you're not, if you're on the other team, I will recommend you take a Lexington. If you're on my team. Take a Shokaku, um, because Lexingtons can dish it, but their lack of uh, fighters is kind of troubling. And if you have a Graf, Ze Graf Zeppelin, uh, screw you for buying that um, ship that should be like tier 6 or tier 7. Uh, because it was an experimental ship that Germany designed, it should not be tier 8. Uh, it should not be on the level of a Yorktown-class aircraft carrier. <laughs> um, seeing as how it wasn't even worth completing. Um, but honestly, I, know, I don't know enough about carriers to make an honest choice. Um, other than if you're able to use a Lexington uh, to win, uh, do it. Um, uh, carriers are the one class where you actually shouldn't be telling people what to play. You should be telling people not to play carriers unless, unless they can win with them. Um, although, I have seen a Enterprise absolutely wreck a turpits with its armor piercing bombs just absolutely i finished them off that that was the one where i got the crack them uh yesterday's video i finished them off but uh the the um enterprise like hit him with five bombs and took all of his hit like two-thirds of his hit points <laughs> um so yeah Anyways, that is it for me. I am going to go out and run a couple of games while I'm on my uh, lunch. So see you on the high seas and have a good one, eh?